All right, and for my last unboxing, this big old mammoth of a collector's edition. This is probably the biggest box collector's edition I've <laughs> ever got. Uh, he's missing things up, ain't you kidding? But, um, this thing is fantastic. This is what a collector's edition is supposed to be. This thing is lovely. I love how this thing looks. And this is what a statue look like. This is what the back looks like. This game is awesome. It is great. I mean, there's so much stuff to do. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, and I thought when I got Bloodborne that uh, <laughs> that was uh, big and amazing, huh? Nah, this this game here. Huh? This this is how games should be made. Just like, you know, loaded up with stuff to do instead of, you know, just something that's brushed out. <sighs> I've gutted it out because this thing was kind of hard and a lot of stuff to do. One thing I like is, even so it's been, you know, not actual signatures, you know, it's just the actual cardboard with the print on the, you know. That's pretty awesome that they did that. This thing is sculpted nicely. And of course, that's the Griffin's tail. It, it, it just sticking. <laughs> this thing is huge. This reminds me kind of like um, them Assassin's Creed figures, you know, some nice details, really detailed, you know. This thing got some like weight to it. I ain't playing on it. But it's, it's done nicely. So I say this this is really worth the money I, I put into it, you know. I was kind of scared that it would sell out, so I pay full price for it, you know. Sometimes you got to. <laughs> so let me go ahead and put this back up. But I just wanted to pull it out and show it to you. Oh, man, I had ran out of memory card room. I had to put it down the computer and all. But, um, so one thing about this camera... You can see actually like static like grains in it, you know. And I um I should have like took this cam uh, back, but um I'm gonna go ahead and I uh, probably give it to my roommate. She needs an uh, actual camcorder. I probably to get a uh, 4K maybe if it's at a good price. I uh, just desperately need, <laughs> I need a good HD camcorder. It seems like everyone I get got some kind of issue, you know. But um, let's get back to this. So. Let's get to I put the figure back into the case. That's what the top looked like. This little part and that holds this. That's pretty bad right here. It's definitely got some weight to it, and it opens up. use both hands all right and basically when you remove the two pieces you got this small little piece right here even this got some weight to it <laughs> oh lord he got a glare in there pretty nice and of course a real art book like what an actual art book supposed to look like, you know, not with them little cheap looking six to eight pages of just like small concepts. Oh, yeah, it's got some nice, nice pictures in here. Oh, Lord, look at that. I haven't really gotten much into the game yet because uh, I've got like four games right now started, which I'm trying to plat. Instead, uh, Guacamole, um, trying to plat that. I forgot, like, I think two more trophies to get in that. I got that new Wolfenstein, the old blood. I'm doing the challenges and I'll be done platting that. And so there's two other smaller type games that I started, you know, that came with, uh, the play, uh, P, uh, excuse me, PlayStation Plus. So 
See, this is a real art book right here. Not them cheap ones that, that always come filler, you know, so so they can make more money. I like this. This is a real art book. So like I said, this this was pretty worth it. And um I believe they made enough copies of this, so um this should drop in price, I say, after like about uh within two months, so you probably get a good price, much better than what I paid for, but I couldn't take the chance, you know. I'm 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 tired of some of these big name games coming out and um they make a real limited copies and um by the time you want to actually put out for it, they're gone. You can't get it no more. And it's like about three or four hundred dollars online. Just like this bad boy up here. Yeah. That, that's a pretty penny right there. And if those who did pre-order it. And that sorry company canceled on them. Well it wasn't the company fault. It was the actual distributor who did it. Or what you want to say. The people who dealt with it and sent, sent it off to you. Whoever they went with. The shippers. Yeah that sucked. That sucked pretty bad. I feel bad for them people. This was great here. Like I said, the game is great. I'm enjoying it. If you don't want to sell out to over a hundred some dollars for this game, I mean like the collector's edition, then please go ahead and um just get the standard copy. I think uh well you know like online they have deluxe versions of uh digital copies, so you may want to do that as well if you want all the bells and whistles. And of course inside the steel book, they just should put the game inside the steel book, but I guess having options uh, is pretty nice too, you know. So it's definitely worth it having a steel book and sent to the game. And it's got some great art to it. Yeah, I really like this. You know, so I'm going to put both of those up, though, up there, you know. I like to have them displayed instead of just putting it back in the item. And Mason looked in that. They had quite a lot of stuff. Just a thank you note. And if you want, you can pause it and read it if you'd like to. 16 DLCs totally free of charge. That's how it's supposed to be done. And not taking half the game off. Or, you know, locking it off for customers and claiming it DLC, you know. It's pretty shitty to me. So they did it right. Some stickers. And this is a map. I'm not going to open up the map. I'm pretty sure you can find the map elsewhere. Game manual. I think there's a code in there. I'm not going to open up the game manual. Universe. Let me quickly just make sure this ain't the one that got the code in it. <laughs> it does have a code in it. Okay, so this is the one with the code. And basically, just different stuff in there. And the soundtrack. So they they went out, you know, with this. And that was all inside this here. Got the slip cover. <laughs> it's pretty amazing how game values go up just because of the slip cover. And it also goes with um, Blu-rays as well. And um, other games they got the box of uh, slip cover just this little piece alone the game and that's I've been having a blast so far what I started so much game so much back order or excuse me backlog I haven't even got really into Bloodborne either. That's another game. I, I said I started four other games with stuff I still got. I still got um, Final Fantasy Type Zero on the floor. Um, <laughs> I also got uh, the other Final Fantasy. Was it uh, XX2 um, remastered as well on the floor? I haven't even put them up. Like I said I just moved in here. You know, it's been uh, a little while, but. We're going to move again, you know, shortly to a, a, another place permanently, you know, an uh, actual house, you know, that way we got to deal with, you know, 
landlords, you know, because you never know you're going to have a slumlord or what. Oh, man. It's, it's been pretty rough on me. I really do want to start up with my retro collection, but 